We in the Runaways, that's a first solo single. Two on the right from Shevardon and one on the left from Adelaide. Uh, originally, yeah. yeah. Ken Davis, out of IQ. This is the album that you've had out, what, three weeks? Yeah, about, well, about a month now, yeah. How many people do you get involved with IQ? Because I know it is a three, and when we play this clip shortly, it'll be a three-piece. At the moment, it's two, correct? Yeah. So what about for the album? Do you bring other people in, or is it just yourself and a well, small the, new thing? The, uh, the concept is to uh, actually have, a like, a, I suppose, an Alan Parsons project-type situation mm -hmm. on the road and utilising the best of... Uh, whatever is available at the time, like I'm working with computer graphics at the moment, so that... Um, Want to explain? Yeah. Uh, what I'd really like to, to do is um, for people to be able to look at visual yeah. and hear me play so that I'm actually playing to the visual. And uh, that's sort of a futuristic aspect of, of the art that we're pioneering at the moment in right. IQ. Can you describe in your words that are understandable tell us what sort of music iq plays and how it comes about how it evolves well the basic uh, creation usually comes from a feeling uh, and there's sort of a lot of different aspects of uh, iq um, the main bed that we use for the synthesizers is using a lin drum machine right and uh, a basic bass synthesizer. And this one here... This you want to hold the, that up? Yeah, so sure. grab a shot of it. This is the, uh, the Roland, the new Roland 101. And you also work through a Fairlight too? The Fairlight computer uh, I use at really big shows, but because of the expense and carting around a bit. Right. Um, and uh, also at the moment I'm saving my pennies to actually purchase one whereas before we were sponsored right uh, when we went to japan and things like that yeah um so i have a mass of analog synthesizers and uh computers so give yourself a quick tag computed music computerized music yeah computerized electronic music but with feeling human emotion feeling so right. we don't rely just on the synthesizers. we play a lot of strings and beautiful melodies over the top which uh, people come up to me all the time and say, uh, you're unique mm. in that area because I've worked hard at providing melody where a lot of other synthesised bands rely entirely on the computing yeah. and therefore are not giving the human emotion over the top. Right. So that's hopefully what I'm going to be able to do. You do every Sunday, isn't it? You've been working down at Circular Quay, just putting on a one-man or two-man show. Yeah, well, I... I found it hard getting to the pubs. Obviously, if you try and play um, emotional music yeah. to the to pub audiences, you've it's hard. You know, the guys are drinking; they want a good time or whatever. Okay, so then. Um, but I found on Sunday afternoons at uh, Circular Quay, I get uh, people roving around, just looking for a nice day out and, and something enjoy, else to yeah. have a look and listen to. Yeah, I've been very lucky. The last four or five Sundays in Sydney have been exceptionally beautiful. Yeah. Um, and computerized I set up all my... busker, would you call it? Yeah, <laughs> computerised busker. Actually, it's been very good because I've sold 1,500 albums at the uh, the little concerts now. Still and, as well uh, as you. Not a bad little drop. <laughs> That's a nice drop. And it's enabled me to, uh, A, have a bit of money to myself sure. to spend and also uh, fund the new IQ album that uh, we hope will... Oh, there's yeah. another one to yeah, come. Yeah, in the making at the moment. Now, when you went to Japan, that was in actual fact to show off the Fairlight machine, wasn't it? Which we haven't got here. Uh, how many places did you work over there and what, were the, what was the reaction from Japanese? The basic thing over there was to play at the uh, music fairs. Yeah. Uh, like our, our sixth annual music expo here. Yeah. And... Um, the audiences were basically people that were filing through to see other state-of-the-art uh, computers right. and uh, video mixers and that sort of thing. And uh, why we we had to perform the Fairlight live, that's why we actually went over there, right. because it had never been used on its own mm -hmm. before. Um, we weren't under concert situation, which was no. a bit disappointing for me, because I sort of got there and 
I was expecting the huge stages and concert lighting <laughs> and that sort of thing, and we just were given, it was more of a demonstration type thing, but what it did for, uh, for me as a musician was wonderful because I, I love Japan, I love the people. Yeah. Mm. Um, it's had quite a strong turning in my life to, uh, to actually enjoy music and see happy people. Japan have, are great. Right. Japanese people. Have they linked in with you and put some money behind you or are you still doing it on your own? Um, well, at the moment, uh, the album's gone to Japan. Right. And there was some slight confusion between Toshi EMI in uh, in uh, Tokyo and EMI Australia. One of those contractual right. situations. We thought we were going to be signed by EMI Australia as soon as we got back because uh, uh, Japan sent EMI a telex Same. to sign us. Mm. But through some mis management or whatever we didn't get signed and, and I think that's why Mars got upset and decided that he'd like to uh, go his way and right. I'd go mine so and since then uh, we've both done albums on the Fairlight yeah uh, this IQ album is the first venture of a commercial enterprise on the Fairlight and Mars's album's coming out in the next couple of months uh -huh. now Mars was with you when we in fact about nine months ago maybe a little over did this clip on sounds and four sounds. This is called Humans, correct? Yeah. Not on the album. No, this it'll is be the on, sort of thing. on another album. Uh -huh. Good. Hang in, Kenny. Yeah, yeah, I'll be back to see this. Okay.